This is KMTV 3 News Now. I'm Vanessa Villafuerte with 3 News Now. Here's a look at what's happening now. It looks like at-home COVID tests may soon become more widely available. President Biden announced the purchase of millions of at-home tests that will be mailed to your home. Health officials say having access to this kind of testing will help gain control of the pandemic. And at-home rapid tests are not as accurate as PCR tests, but health officials say they are useful, especially in times where case counts are high. If you've been exposed to COVID, health officials suggest waiting about three days until you take a rapid at-home test. On Tuesday, doctors took a deeper look at the Omicron variant and what the spread is like in Europe and here in the U.S. They've been looking at the surging cases in states like New York and comparing them with hospitalizations and vaccination rates. Here in the Midwest, there are some concerns about the variant's potential to put an extra burden on area hospitals, but a lot of questions remain, and that's why health officials are asking people who are still unvaccinated to get the vaccine and to get boosted if eligible for a third dose. And on 3 News Now, meteorologist Chris Swaim, 30 degrees overnight. It'll be cool, winds on the lighter side. This is actually uh, pretty mild for this time of year. Our averages are much colder than that as we head into the morning hours. But nonetheless, the mild start, the warmer high temperatures, 53 degrees, even warmer than Wednesday and comfortable. Winds out of the southwest and mainly sunny skies put us above average. Now heading into Christmas Eve, upper 50s. We drop off on Christmas, but still, not bad, mild for this time of year, 44. The potential for some light rain there in the morning doesn't look like much, not looking like a white Christmas this year. Breezy on Sunday, 30s back by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, gradually getting colder each day to be expected late December heading into January.